Hey guys, what is up? It is Nose or Derek here, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you like a, a skilling method that I use sometimes when I'm woodcutting. And uh, I have made a video of this before. It's called Free to Play Skilling Guides episode, I think like 8 or something. It's when I woodcut a with, uh, with bonfires. I'm just redoing it because they have changed a bit. And I'm just starting a new series called Free to Play Efficiency. I think I'm going to be calling it like that. It's where you're skilling and then you... Uh, just get as much experience as you can in that time, like the most efficient method of doing skills. Uh, like multiple like multiple skills at a time, and just like like Zarfot, I don't know if you know, like you made really efficient guides. So I'm going to be trying to do something like that, just like to give you max maximum amount of experience, and like if you want to train fast, that's how you're going to be doing it. So uh, the first skill I'm going to be doing is wood cutting and fire making. You're going to be doing it at the same time using bonfires. And uh, let's just get right into it. I'm going to uh, start off with showing you how to set up your inventory. So what you want to do is uh, make sure you have your uh, hatchet in your toolbox. Or your, yeah, your tool belt. Have a rune hatchet. You can add like different uh, tiers of it. Like It doesn't have to be bronze. You can put rune in. So put your rune hatchet in there because it saves up an inventory space. And you want to go into your bank and take out some wood cutting urns. Right now I'm just taking out 10 just because like, it's going to be like filling my inventory is going to be filling up quick and I don't want to keep dropping it. Um, you can take as many as you want. Usually you don't want it too full because your inventory just fill up quick and it kind of gets, I don't know. You just want to have like maybe 20 at the max. But anyways, so I'm going to be taking 10 urns with me. And where we're going to be woodcutting is on Damonheim Peninsula. It's just a little island off of Damonheim where you can go. You do need dunge for it, you need 30 dunge to enter it, so get that before you go there. You don't have to um, do the method here, like you can go any other place. You're going to be cutting willow trees, so any other place with willow trees does work, but this is just the best because there are two trees that are close together that works with this method. Uh, so it's just right here, you just go a bit southwest then east, and then you see this little entrance. So you want to go in here. And there will be tons of willows just northeast on the island. You want to go to the very two northeast, no, uh, southeast, sorry. Um, and we're cutting these two willows here. And that's because with the bonfire, you're going to be adding logs to the bonfire while you're wood cutting. So uh, if I just get a log for you here, you just want to. Um, you just want to light it right here. And that's why, because when you're wood cutting, you're going to be using the logs on the fire like that. And. So you can woodcut here and then you'll be right beside the fire and we'll cut on this tree and be right beside the fire. If you go anywhere else you can see like you have to run to the bonfire to use it so it's a waste of time and it's the best place to put it. Um, so like before you get started you want to, um, I know I'm moving quick so hopefully you can follow along but uh, before you get started woodcutting you want to go into resizable like I am right now. Uh, if you're on fix then change to resizable because you're redoing this method of dropping where you need it to be on resizable, and this way you do. You want to close your uh, close your uh, chat, and then open up your action bar, and have it here. So if uh, I show you something, I'll get a log. As you can see, um, if you go to the bottom of the box where the log is, like put the log in the action bar, and go scroll over the bottom of it, and then right click, and you see my cursor is right over drop. See if I have the chat open, or if you're on fixed, if you right click, you have to move your mouse like it's it's not over drop, so that's why you have it like this. So it's just a really fast way of uh, dropping it. You just right click, and it'll be right over it. So you just right click, left click. And you can drop it like a whole inventory in like a few seconds or a couple of seconds. That's how fast you are, and it's really good. So like, see three there, it just dropped, and you keep wood cutting. Like it doesn't interrupt your wood cutting. You, have to, you don't have to click back on the tree. Uh, but you don't really need to do this that much because you're going to be uh, using your logs on the fire. So what you want to be doing is like using a log on the fire as soon as you get another log just to maximize the experience. So like uh, right click the log and then as soon as you get another log you use it on the fire and then click back on the tree right away. And you should start working again and then getting more uh, logs and just keep repeating that. Sometimes you will get a log right away just like I did. You just want to wait a second to get your second log because it does take a while to reuse the log on the fire. So you should be staying there for a second waiting to use another log on the fire. So that's why you, if you get the log, like if you start wood cutting and get a log right away, just wait a second 
or wait until you get your next log to use the log, and that's why your inventory does fill up. And uh, so like, um, yeah, your inventory does fill up over time because of that, because you get logs right away, and you have to wait to the next one. So as soon as your inventory fills up, you just want to empty it just by dropping it, and then uh, doing the dropping method I show you, and just get rid of them. And uh, so yeah, that's why you're gonna be dropping. So that's pretty much the whole method. Um, there is one more thing, like it, once your fire runs out, you just want to click there, light the log, and move back to wood cutting. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Like just you have to have the lot of the fire in that place, or else like you have to walk to use it. Um, but anyways, hopefully that pretty much like gives you an idea of how to do this method. Um, there's also one thing I want to show you with urns. I probably, f oh fuck yeah, I have a new urn. <laughs> I have an urn already in my bank, but uh, all you really need to do is when you get an urn, you want to have it in the action bar and click it once it's full. Like once one gets full, you want to click it and use it right away. Because if you wait until you have like a few, then a new screen pops up and it wastes time. And if you don't click it using the action bar, then it stops your work hitting. You have to re-click the tree and it just makes it slower. So you want to click from the action bar because it doesn't interrupt anything. And one at a time because a new interface, a new screen won't pop up interrupting you. But anyways, uh, I'm not really doing it completely right now because <laughs> I'm trying to commentate and do it at the same time. But this method should get you, like, uh, depending on your working level, 50 to 60,000 working experience per hour, along with 50 to 60 fire making experience per hour. Like if you see, I haven't been really using them on the fire that much. I've been going for like a few minutes and I got 2.5k wood cutting and 1.3k fire making so it's like you uh you will get more a bit more wood cutting experience than fire making but that's okay um but yeah so 60 like 50 50 to 60 k wood cutting experience per hour and 50 to 60 k fire making experience per hour so that's like if you're just wood cutting and dropping using the method you get a little bit more than that but you don't get any fire making so like it does save time it does add up and then it does like help you so you don't have to actually like to sit there boring doing fire making at the bank or whatever uh, yeah it does take a lot of concentration but like if you're going for efficiency and you want to do this fast this is the way to do it so hopefully this guide helped you hopefully you can use this method and get lots of experience in youtube work and fire making up if you have any questions on this just message me if it's too confusing if i go in too fast just let me know because i just don't want to like <laughs> keep talking and keep making explanations and making it more confusing. I know it is kind of a lot to take in, but uh, hopefully you like this. I will be making more of these. This is just the first episode of my series of uh, free to play efficiency. So thanks for watching guys. I'll stay tuned for next video. Hopefully I'll have another good method of skilling out for you. And but yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.